We are exactly two weeks away from the official start of the Atlantic hurricane season. Yeah, but something in the Pacific uh, will not only have an impact on our hurricane season, but really summer across the country. CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunzing explains. We've talked about La Nina before. It's the cool phase of the El Nino Southern Oscillation, which means water in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean is cooler than average. So how will something so far away impact our weather here in North Carolina and elsewhere? Remember, it's part of a larger climate cycle that impacts weather across the globe. So let's talk about the biggest impact we typically think of, tropical weather. When we have a La Nina in place or developing, there's less wind shear over the tropical Atlantic Ocean, which means any developing tropical waves or storms don't have to fight the wind shear, which would either weaken or tear the storms apart. So with this pattern developing, there's the possibility for a more active hurricane season. The most common locations for tropical development for the start of the season is the Gulf of Mexico, with some development also possible in the Caribbean. This also puts us at risk for any storms potentially curving to the northeast right along the coast. But the other impact La Nina can have is the impact on drought and fire conditions. So here in North Carolina, we can sometimes get tropical moisture, which will bring us much needed rain. But unfortunately, the West Coast doesn't always have that luxury. During a La Nina summer, the jet stream, a main driver of our weather patterns, tends to go north, keeping the west and southwest hot and dry, potentially increasing drought and fire dangers. As for what to expect this hurricane season, the official forecast will be released Tuesday, May 24th. In Raleigh, meteorologist Rachel Dunsing, CBS 17.